Hello everybody, it's story time again. I'm going to sing you a song, are you ready? Hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. Listen very carefully, let's see what we have here. What do we have here today? Let's see. It's the Gruffalo. Today, I'm going to be reading the Gruffalo. Are you ready? Have you got your listening ears on? Get nice and comfortable and let's look at what happens in this story. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no. I'm going to have lunch with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? Oh, a Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth with terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favourite food is roasted fox. <gasps> roasted fox? I'm off, said fox. Goodbye little mouse and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as the gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. Oh, it's frightfully kind of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have lunch with the gruffalo. A gruffalo? What is a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't he know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream and his favourite food is owl ice cream. <gasps> owl ice cream! Twit -doo! Goodbye little mouse and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as the Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully fright of you, snake. But no, I'm having a feast with the Gruffalo. Oh, what's a Gruffalo? What is a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why didn't you know? He has orange eyes. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? See, here by the lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. <gasps> scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws, terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a Gruffalo! Ah, my favourite food, said the Gruffalo. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. 
Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. Who could it be? Who do we think? Oh, that's right, it's Snake. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Oh, Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. One look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid into his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. Who do we think it is? Do we know? Let's see. <gasps> That's right, it's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye little mouse, and off he flew to his treetop house. You see? said the mouse. I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the footpath ahead. Do we know who it could be? Who do we think? Let's see. Oh, that's right, it's Fox, said the mouse. Why Fox? Hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse. You see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favourite food is... Gruffalo Crumble. <gasps> Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said. And as quick as the wind... He turned and fled. <gasps> All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. And that is the end of the story in the deep dark wood. That was the Gruffalo. Now, this week I've been planning lots and lots of good activities for you guys to do at home. So attached to this video is the list of things that you will need if you want to try one of these activities. So I'm going to share them with you now. So the first one is making your own gruffalo crumble. So what I've got in here, I've got some flour, I've got some porridge oats, and I've got some sultanas. And I've just put this in a little tub because I just want to demonstrate it to you, but you can you go as big as you want with this activity. Now, grown-ups, you might want to use some plastic covering for this or some old sheets that you don't mind getting messy or that you can just throw in the wash because the aim of this activity is to make a mess. Children of all ages can make your own Gruffalo crumble. So by using these ingredients here, these dry ingredients, you can use different pots and pans, cake tins, bun tins, um, Tupperware tubs, jugs, and then spatulas, wooden spoons, um, normal spoons to do your mixing. And then if you add some wet ingredients like water, milk, even cooking oil like vegetable oil or butter or yogurt, get your hands in there and explore. This is a sensory activity. Use lots and lots of imagination as you're mixing up and making your creations and making your very own Gruffalo crumble. Next, I've got some Play-Doh for you guys. Now, I've also done a video for grown-ups for how to make this video, so if you're a little unsure, but all you will need is corn flour and hair conditioner. So, yep, that's hair conditioner. You'll need a cup to measure things out and a spoon to stir. And then I've done an example 
um, on the video I've got some play-doh here it will make I mean you can add add food color into it if you want but I've just made some play-doh here now what we can do with this can you add things to this make shapes roll it cut it squeeze it and see if you can make some of your own animals from the story so I've had a go and I've made my own Gruffalo you can see he's got purple prickles all over his back here is it his ears here are his orange eyes and his poisonous wart and here are his horrible teeth and his horrible terrible jaws so that is my Gruffalo now I'm not terribly creative so it doesn't have to look perfect but it is so much fun to have a go and do your own creating, your own animals. So there is your Play-Doh. Next, I have got a Gruffalo face. So here we are, can you see? So all I've used out here is old empty cereal boxes. And for all of the pieces, that's what I've used. I've cut them out and coloured them in. So they've done yellow the eyes I've got a green poisonous water and all I've done is blue tacked them on so grown-ups you can cut the pieces out if you've got really young children and the children can color them in decorate them and then stick them on the board to make a gruffalo's face and you can make a funny face an angry face a happy face however the gruffalo might be feeling in that story so there are some points out there where he's laughing because he doesn't believe that the little mouse is the scariest creature in the wood. But then at the end, he might be feeling scared because the mouse told him his favourite food was Gruffalo Crumble. So you can decorate your face however you like. Just have the blue tack on the back and you can change it. So that's the face. So next, the next game I thought would be to have a little play and find the Gruffalo. Find the Gruffalo. So what you have to do is, if you've got more than one child in the house, then you can take turns and have a go at hiding your Gruffalo's face anywhere in the house, anywhere in the garden. If, if you've if you're an, got an only child and you've got no other children to play with in your house, then mums and dads, grannies and granddads, whoever it may be, you could have a go at find, uh, hiding the Gruffalo and the little ones have got to go and explore through the deep dark wood and find the Gruffalo for themselves. And it's just a really good game that will also encourage some physical activity as well as they're wandering round. You could get them to creep, creep through the deep dark wood. You could get them to oh, really explore. So they're the activities for this week. So I would absolutely love it if you guys could have a go and I would love to see some pictures of your work uh, or you playing in your um, sensory activity, making your crumble or having a go at your Play-Doh. Feel free to pop the messages and the pictures on this post so that I can have a look. So enjoy guys and have a really nice week.